Hey guys, what's going on? Cody Steck here back with another video. We've got some massive news to talk about here with Real Broker. We're going to go through their earnings that they just released this morning for quarter three of 2021. The numbers that you're going to see here are absolutely phenomenal. And I think you're going to be really surprised with what we've got to talk about here. This is a company you want to keep your eyes on. If you're just an investor, this might be a stock that you want to consider picking up. Or if you're a real estate agent, this might be a company that you want to look into a little bit further and see if it's a good fit for you to be a part of this massive growth story that we're going to see over the next couple of years. If you are thinking about joining Real Broker, reach out to me. Uh, my information will be in the description box below. I'd love to have a chat with you, tell you the good, the bad, the ugly about everything I know with Real Broker, uh, being an agent at the company myself and I'd love to chat with you about it as well so without further ado let's just jump right here into things so the quarter three um, financial highlights uh, of course it's unaudited and everything is in US dollars revenue increased 885 percent in the in the third quarter of 2021 to 38.79 million compared to 3.9 million in the third quarter of last year so this is massive growth this is it's just unfathomable to really think about you know how these numbers have increased now uh, obviously going from three 3.9 million to 38 million um, is going to be small in the long run right hopefully we're seeing you know 300 400 million in the next one to two years right that'd be awesome to see revenue increase uh, you know maybe another 10x from where it's at right now gross profit grew 348 percent to 3.32 million in the third quarter of 2021 compared to 741,000 in the third quarter of last year the net operating net operating loss was 1.06 million in this third quarter compared to a net loss of 422,000 last quarter uh last third quarter of 2020 which is not surprising we'd expect for the operating loss to um, grow you know obviously as expenses go up and uh, the company is moving towards uh, producing higher amounts of revenue and gross profit and whatnot uh, we do expect the operating loss to go up so nothing surprising there the adjusted EBITDA lost for the third quarter of 2021 was 744,000 compared to the adjusted EBITDA loss of 261,000 in the third quarter of last year and cash flow from operations increased approximately 581 percent to just over 1 million compared to the third quarter of 2020. Our third quarter run rate is more than 150 million as we continue to experience growth through the combination of increases in number of agents and revenue per agent. As we build out technology, not only for our agents, but for consumer experience, we expect to be competing in the future, not just with traditional and tech brokerages, but to expand our total addressable market by competing with online real estate companies. This is gonna be huge, guys. Uh, Tamir and his vision for the company is absolutely phenomenal. And I think uh, there's a lot of potential for this company and that's why I've decided to align my business with it. Uh, some other highlights around uh, quarter three. We did surpass 3,000 agents in October 2021 and this number is increasing rapidly. I would not be surprised to see this double again by this time next year, uh, potentially even triple, right? The company is growing extremely quick and there's a lot of big real estate teams coming over to this company. The value of completed real estate transactions grew 879% to 1.44 billion in quarter three compared to 1.47 million in the third quarter of 2020. This is this is crazy, 879% growth. Uh, you know, that's just insane to see that. Revenue per agent grew to 13,000, which represents an increase of 325% compared to 3,000 in the third quarter of 2020. This is absolutely crucial, guys, because the revenue per agent needs to go up. Your revenue that you bring into the company, uh, at least for this business model, Reels revenue is going to be uh, limited somewhat by how many transactions an agent actually closes. The first five, six, seven transactions an agent closes, Real is going to capture a large port portion of that revenue um, as you know income for their, their balance sheet. But beyond that, the agent is only bringing in a small amount of revenue for the company after that because uh, at that point, they're just paying a transaction fee. So seeing this go from uh, 3,000 to now 13,000 is a massive increase and a huge um, mover for the company because this means that we're getting high quality agents who are closing lots of deals. The transactions per agent grew to 1.5 compared to just 0.5 in the third quarter of last year. Again, this is still pretty low, but we would like to see this higher. Um, I don't know what the industry strat, industry, industry um, standard is for this number, but uh, it's good to see that this is increasing here. Bolstered its management team with the additions of Catherine Mobley as chief marketing officer and Raj Nike as chief operating officer. These are both two brand new announcements. And as of uh, September 30th, we are in 35 states, including the District of Columbia in the U.S. and Alberta, Canada, and has 50 full-time um, employees. 
one of the big things about what real broker is doing is they are trying to get their efficiency ratio uh, to a um, long-term target of one to 75 right so one full-time employee for 75 agents this is going to really give them the efficiency they need in the brokerage to operate with very low operating costs but also have high revenue and turn that revenue into profit so they're currently at one to 60 and that long-term target of one to 75 is going to be crucial uh, for this company to succeed i do see them hitting this and i do think they can get there it's going to take a lot of um systems and processes to get to that point just because there's a lot of agents who are going to need that help but i do see that they will get to this level eventually and there's a lot of great agents inside the company who are willing to help uh, with a lot of those support items as well so this is going to be a competitive advantage as the industry standard uh is a ratio of approximately one to 25 so they're hoping to three you know be three times more efficient basically uh, Real ended quarter three with 45 million in cash and investments compared to total cash on hand of 1.9 million at the end of quarter three last year. So guys, massive news here. Uh, let's take a look at what the stock is doing over the last little bit with this news coming out. So if we take a, a zoom in here, let's just go back here to the day chart and go back to one month because this, this stock has been uh, running pretty heavily over the last month. So we are at $1.80 right here. Uh, this is on October 22nd, so not even a month ago, uh, we were sitting at roughly $1.80 on the price here. Now we're sitting at $3.20. What is that? That's like almost a double. That's almost a double up. Um, 3.6 would be uh, double. So we've almost doubled in just the last month, which is absolutely phenomenal. I've obviously got a very large position in this company um, from shares that I purchased on my own, as well as shares that I've gained um, from the company as part of being an agent and closing deals with the company. So uh, I'm obviously, I'm obviously I'm obviously sitting uh, very nicely with the uh, shares that I've got. But let's take a look at uh, the one day chart here. I wanna zoom in to what actually happened um, on the news of this earnings. So we actually saw a, a drop right here, right as the market opened, we dropped to roughly $3 from a close of, uh, you know, let's say $3.24. So we dropped slightly, climbed back up, came back down here to $2.90, uh, which is really surprising given the amazing numbers that the company put up. But you know, that's what happens right now is sometimes the, the stock will drop and sell off as people kind of uh, process the information, but then it got bought right back up and now we're sitting at roughly $3.27. Um, at the time of this recording. So that's fantastic news. Obviously the stock has stayed strong. It didn't sell off very heavy. So I think the market is kind of looking at this and saying this is a good opportunity. This is something we need to keep an eye on. And um, you know, for what it's worth, I think there's a long way to go uh, for the stock and for this company. I could easily see this being a 10, 20, $30 stock over the next three to five years. I'm not gonna you know, get real specific with it and say it's gonna be at this price at this date. Um, but I do know that over the long term, this could be a 5, 10, maybe even a 20x um, over the next 5 to 10 years at some point. So there's a bright future for this company, and I think this is going to be a company that you want to be involved with, especially if you're an agent uh, or even just an investor. I think this could be a good opportunity to um, pick up some pretty massive gains with uh, this stock here. So with that said, guys, thanks for watching. If you're thinking about joining Real Broker, reach out to me. I'd love to chat with you about it. My information will be in the description box below. Let's have a chat about uh, you know your potential move over here to Real Broker. I'll tell you everything that you want to know about the company. And with that said, catch you guys in the next one.